Hi friends, this is Prashant. Now we'll continue with the question number uh, numerical number 14 onwards, which is electricity part B. Right? Check the question number 14. What the 14 question says, a uniform wire of resistance 27 ohm is divided into three equal pieces. So this is your original resistance, which is of 27 ohm. Say this is that wire. This wire is divided into three equal pieces, right? So since we know that the resistance is directly proportional to length, so resistance of each part R1 will be of same, that is 9 ohm, R2 is 9 ohm, and R3 is equal to 9 ohm. Now how they are connected? They are connected in what parallel? So we can write here 1 by Rp is 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So that comes out to be 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9 which is 3 by 9. So it is pulled down Rp is equal to 9 by 3 which is equal to 3. So this is the first answer. Check 15. Question number 15. What question number 15 says? In question number 15, a circuit consists of Resistor of 1 ohm in series with a parallel arrangement of 6 ohm and 3 ohm. So first I will draw the circuit. This is your 1 ohm. Which is in parallel combination of 6 ohm and 3 ohm. Right? So this is the parallel combination of 6 ohm and 3 ohm. So first of all I will take these two are in parallel. So we write here since your 6 ohm and 3 ohm are in parallel or they are connected, they are connected in parallel. So I can write here 1 by Rp is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3. So I will get Rp is equal to what? 2 ohm. Rp is equal to 2 ohm. Now since your R, this is 1 ohm and Rp are in series. They are connected in what series? So I can write here therefore Rs is equal to this is 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3 ohm. Total resistance will be 3 ohm. Right? This is your 15th question. Check the 16th question. What is given in 16th question? number 16. With 16 we can here. You have this is first resistor, this is second resistor, and this is third resistor. Right? This is one, this is second. Right? This is two ohm, this is twelve ohm. This is 12 ohm, this is 6 ohm, and this is 4 ohm. This will be 5 ohm. Right? Now, since your 12 ohm, 6 ohm, and 4 ohm are in parallel, are in what parallel? So, I can write your 1 by Rp is 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2. So, that comes out to me. This is 1 by Rp is equal. This is 12. This is 1 plus 2 plus 3. So that comes out to be 6 by 12. That is 1 by 2. So your Rp is equal to 2. Rp will be 2. Right? Now, what is the next part? Now since you are 2, your Rp and 5 are in series are in what series. So I can write here therefore Rs is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 5. That comes out to be 9 ohm. So we are 16. Now we will go with 17. Question number 17. Question number 17. Now what is given in 17? In 17 diagram is given 
so this is the resistor right this is one resistor this is second resistor this is third and this is fourth right so this is point a this is point b this is a 30 ohm this is 3 ohm this is 2 ohm this is 6 ohm and this is 4 ohm now how they are connected they are set resistance between a and b they want so here these two are in series let it be rs these two are in series let it be rs and then rs1 30 ohm and rs2 are in parallel First of all, I will write since 3 ohm and 2 ohm are in series. So I can write here RS1 is 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. Right? Now, since your 6 ohm and 4 ohm are in series, so I can write here RS2 is equal to 6 plus 4 which is equal to 10. So since your RS1 30 ohm and RS2 are in parallel or in what parallel? So you can write 1 by RP is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 30 plus 1 by 10. So your RP is equal to something ohm. That comes out to be it is 3 ohm comes out to be what? 3. Right? Now check the 18th question. Question number 18. What is given in question number 18? Now 18 is very important and again then check. You have a rectangle in which there are four resistors are connected Right? This is point A, this is point B, I will call this is R1, R2, R3, this is R4. Now you have each resistance is of 2 ohm. So this is 2 ohm, this is 2 ohm, 2 ohm and this is 2 ohm. Say current I is flowing over here. Now the current has two different paths. First path will be through this is now same current will pass through all these three. So these three are in series and that answer will be in parallel to R4. Right? Now since you are R1, R2 and R3 are in series. Are in what series? So I can write here therefore RS1 is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 2 that comes out to be 6 one. Now since your RS1 and R4 are in parallel or they are connected, they are connected in parallel. So I can write your 1 by RAB is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2. If you solve this, this comes out to be RAB is equal to 1.52. So I have 1.52. Now this was your A part. In B part, what is given? You have same four resistors, but they want resistance between two different modes. This is point A, this is point C. This is your R1, R2, this is R3, and this is R4. Now, these two resistors are in series, that will be RS1. These two are in series, that is RS2, and they are in parallel. So I can write here first, since your R1 and R2 are in series, so I can write your RS1 is equal to 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. Now since your R3 and R4 are in series. So I can write your RS2 
is 2 plus 2 which is equal to 4 which is equal to 4 now since your rs1 and rs2 are in parallel so i can write here that both 1 by rp is equal to 1 upon rs1 plus 1 upon rs2 so that is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 2 by 4 so your rp is equal to 2 that is the resistance between point a and c is 2 right now next will be 19 question number 19 In 19 question, what is given? You have this is your first resistance 3 ohm, you are also 3 ohm, and you are also 3 ohm. Across this, there are two resistors, right? again 3 ohm, and this is 3 ohm. This is point P, this is point Q, this is X, and this is Y. Now I will write, say this is your R1, this is your R2, this is your R3, R4 and this is your R5. Now these two resistors are in series. First of all we write here R4 and R5 are in series. When they are in series, total resistance RS is 3 plus 3 that comes out to be 6 ohm take it now take a 6 ohm now since your rs and r2 are in parallel they are in what parallel so i can write your 1 upon rp2 is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 so we can write your rp2 is equal to get now 2 it will be 2 now the circuit diagram will be like this, this is your R1, this is your R, P, Q and this is now your R3. So how they are connected? They are connected in series. So right here since R1, R, P, Q and R3 are in series. So you can write here therefore R, S, R, X, Y is equal to this is 3 plus 2 plus 3 that comes out to be this is A2 right now we'll go with one last question and then next we'll go with new set of video right let's check the 20th what is given in question number 20 now in question number 20 what is given there? You have two resistors, 2 ohm and 3 ohm, are connected in series and in parallel. So, there are two resistors. First, they are connected in series to a cell along with key. Right? And this is 2 ohm and 3 ohm. Plus minus EMF is 6 volt. This is key. Let the current over here is I volt. Same two resistors when they are connected in parallel. So these two are connected in parallel with same key and something R1, R2. This is your I2. Again this is 2 ohm and this is 3 ohm. This is R1, R2. What they want? They want current in each. So make your sense. R1 and R2 are in series. So I can write here therefore Rs is equal to R1 plus R2 which is 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5. Right? Now since your I1 is equal to EMF upon Rs internal is not zero, which is 6 by 5 which is 1.2 ampere. Right? This is 1.2 ampere. Now we have since your, or your R1 and R2 are in parallel. How they are connected? They are connected in parallel. So I will write here 1 by RP is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3. 
So R P is equal to it is two into three upon two plus three, which is six by five ohm. So I can write here that for I two is equal to E M F upon R P. This is six upon six by five. This comes out to be five ampere. Right? That's it for this video. We'll continue in the next lecture. Thank you.